together on seclosounds.org Your listening station Hi, I'm Terry Simon and welcome to this week's Sticks Radio Show. Can't believe it's four days to Christmas yet. 21st of December. The weather doesn't seem to have gone mad, but anyhow. Um, today on the show, as always, got some great guests. In fact, I've got two today. Later on in the hour, I'm going to be talking to Alex Byrne. He's the creative director of a show that opens tomorrow night at the stables called Around the World in 80 Days, the Jules Verne classic I'm going tomorrow night. We'll be talking about that later. My first guest, though, today is a man... You all may remember from Blue. In fact, he's still with Blue. His name is Anthony Costa. He's playing Prince Charming in the Panto over at uh, the Grove Theatre in Dunstable. And we recorded this interview just before the Panto opened, or a little while before the Panto opened in Dunstable. So we'll be talking to Anthony in a little while after we hear this, probably the most classic Christmas song. Uh, They reckon it turns over five million a year in royalties. It's Slade, and this is Merry Christmas, everybody.
This is Seclo Sounds, and you can listen to us by clicking Listen Live on our homepage at seclosounds.org for a choice of players. Via TuneIn Radio at www.tunein.com, search for Seclo Sounds and listen online or download the TuneIn app. You can download the Seclo Sounds iPhone app from the iTunes App Store, and you can listen to us on demand at our replay page. Right, today on the show, my, as my guest, one part of Blue and also a panto star, Anthony Costa. Good morning, Anthony. Good morning, how are you doing? You alright? I'm doing good. I'm doing very good. Let's um, let's talk about your your career before we talk about a panto. We'll talk about a panto later. Um, you you were a child actor, weren't you? Yeah, I originally started out in um, yeah, child acting and did uh, programs like Grange Hill. Um, I did a BBC comedy back in the day called Chalk. Um, yeah, so I've, I've done I've done me round. Uh, you I've haven't you? So to speak. Yeah. So, so when when you were a kid, were you a bit of a show off? What's that? When you were a kid, were you a bit of a show off? Uh, I would say I was a show off. I, <laughs> I was quite a cheeky chappy. I was never you know one of them. I never had a pushy mum or dad, you see. I just think yeah. do my thing. So, well, um, so I loved it. I loved the business. Well, I, I love doing what I'm doing now, so it's great. Yeah, I met you a few weeks ago, and you certainly are still a cheeky chappy. Yeah, well, <laughs> you got to be in it. You've got to I, I agree. So how did, um, how did Blue get together? Uh, Blue, oh, I know that question for ages. Um, yeah, with Blue, we, we was all mates. Uh, we all knew each other on the audition circuit. Um, I met done for, uh, various auditions and the same with Lee as well mm. and um, we just decided to uh, form a band and Blue was born so to speak and then Simon was living with Lee at the time and Simon came down from Manchester and Lee got the sigh in and then yeah Blue was born yeah so how, yeah. Did, the, how did the name come about you know, you know was it was it after one of your jokes nah to be honest with you mate I can't <laughs> actually remember <laughs> so long ago um, with us it was at the time there was um, Pink was out. Chippy Red was obviously doing his thing, and I think a lot of colours um, in terms of bands and solo artists were, were about. And we thought, you know what? What about Blue? And that was it. And that, that's how that's how it was born. Yeah, and I mean, you you were absolutely fabulously successful for a number of years. Oh, thank you. I mean, you're great, really, really successful. I mean, you had lots of hits. Uh, signed, sealed, delivered, I'm yours. Uh, mm. you, you did. I mean, you had hits with the, If You Come Back and Too Close with ch- huge hits. Um, and yeah. ov- obviously, now you've you branched out to doing panto. Well, you're still touring with Blue, actually. and uh, But you, you, you're now doing panto and acting. Yes. yes. You did. Which is, my, which is my passion. You know? Is it? I just, did a, I just did an interview, and I, I started out as an actor. Mm. Singing comes sort of secondary so to me, um, and but yeah, it's nice to get back on that stage this Christmas and, and perform to the people of Dunstable and around the areas. Yeah, because I saw, I saw you back in or oh, 2006, it must have been in a show called Blood Brothers. Oh right, so you you come and saw it in the West End. Oh, I know, yeah, I did. I, I, I and um, I tell you what, it's an emotional show, isn't it? Oh mate, yeah, try doing that eight times a week. Come I know. I, I tell you what, I was hey, exhausted. Yeah. I was absolutely exhausted. I can't, I, it's it, it's quite a long show as well. It's about two hours twenty, two hours thirty yeah. long. And I tell you, when I left there, I was wrung out. Let alone you acting it. Oh, you know. bless you, mate. Now for me, it was it was very emotionally draining. Um, but as I said, you know, you got you got to do these parts to appreciate it. Mm. And, mm. and you know, Mr. Bill Ken White gave me the opportunity after I went for an audition. Um, I never get off. I didn't get off the part sort of outright. I, I went for an audition like with everyone mm-hmm. else, and he liked what he saw, and then he offered it to me. But uh, it was my favourite show when I was growing up, so to be on that stage performing with Mickey, it was a dream come true. Yeah, it's, 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 for those who haven't seen it, it's well worth going to see whoever's in it. Um, and it, yeah. it's, it, it's the story of two brothers and they're, and they're growing really up with, and their relationship with their mother. We won't dwell on that really one too much. Won't dwell on that one too much. Um, Blue most recently, well, it was a few years ago now, entered the Eurovision Song Contest. Yes. What was that yes. like? That must have been great. Um, from the BBC, they, they asked us if they if we wanted to represent the UK in, in the Eurovision, and you know we me and the boys were in talks at that time to uh, to get back together and do an album and stuff, and um, it just sort of, it just sort of went hand in hand really, and we mm. were just like, do you know what? You know you can't get a better, bigger audience than, than the Eurovision. You know over mm. 125 million people watching. Yeah. Um, so what better way to show people you know in Europe that that blew it back? And yeah. From that, our, our song. I can went top ten around Europe, so it was a really, really good thing to do. And we was proud to represent the country. And obviously, we never, we didn't win, but we never, we never set out to, to win it. So 
us, it was all about going out there and doing what we love doing and showing people that we were back. Well, let's face it, where else can you perform to that kind of... It's the, I think it's the largest audience of a non-sport event in the world. Well, yeah, exactly. It's the Singing World Cup, isn't it? Yeah, so it is. For, for us, it was, as I said, you know, for, you know, Germany gave us no points, but then the next day it went top ten in Germany. So <laughs> you just Don't you love it? How these people, the, the, the people sort of vote or, or jury sort of, you know, yeah. judge you, basically. But as I said, we were just pleased to do it and... We was, uh, it was an honour. So I guess if I offered you the opportunity to do it again, uh, you'd do it again? Would I do it again? It was a, it was a lot of hard work, I'll be honest with you. Um, I don't think me and the boys have worked so hard in all our lives. Um, I mean, there was interviews on interviews, press after on press, which was great, but we was just so drained from, from like, literally mm. just working non-stop for two weeks. We did it in Dusseldorf, Germany, so we was, we was out there for two weeks. It was, mm. And by show day... We was just like knackered. Yeah, <laughs> but, but I mean, uh, we did have things. But I mean, you, you, you're, you're in, in many ways you're used to it because I mean, you, you were saying you did eight day, eight shows a week with the Blood yeah. Brothers, and, and and obviously we're gonna we're gonna mention the Panto. And anybody who thinks Panto is easy, nah, nah, not exactly, at not at all. Not at all. Not uh, it, it's, it's, I think it's the hardest. Um, I don't want to say it's the hardest job for an actor, but it is very, very grueling. Yeah, and you've got to be on your game every every day. When you're in a band, you've got three other members or four other members if you're in a five piece or whatever. Mm. But you know, for us, it was three other members. Mm. And if you didn't, if you was having a bad day, the others would take over. Mm. You know what I mean? It, that, that's how Blue worked. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like if one of us wasn't feeling too good. Three of us would take over. We had each other's backs. But when mm. you're when you're on your own and, and all eyes are on you and you, there were people that are watching the show and stuff. You've got to be on your game, and, and it's great. I love it. It's a really, really good. Um... Yeah, I, I say I met you a few weeks ago, and, and it, it, it was it was lovely. I, I saw you uh, your, your enthusiasm for the panto. Oh, I love it, mate. Absolutely I love it. I'm really looking. I, I'm coming along, and uh, I'm really looking forward to coming and seeing you. Actually, oh, what, man, thank you. One thing I need to ask you: in, in 2006, you posed naked for a Cosmopolitan magazine's Ten Years of Naked Male Centerfold. Oh yeah, yeah, for um, testicular cancer. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. that. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was uh, that was something that's nice to put on your CV. But it is, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, yeah, it was all right, I, I, suppose. I just wondered. I hope they didn't put any of the staples anywhere nasty. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> my face might be up in a few people's like offices, like as a dartboard. Yeah, know. I mean, it's great. I mean, any, any, <laughs> it, it's it's a great thing. I mean, I, I'm never going to be um, asked to do a centrefold calendar ever in my life. We've met, and I, I don't know if you remember meeting me, but it, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's not. Yeah, it's not for me. 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 Ye
I'm, I, I love them all, mate. I Do have you? a preference. Do you? You, you I, don't fancy I, the... I, on my accent, it'll probably be EastEnders. Yeah, well, your accent and your...